is up guys my name is david sanchez and today we're gonna make your very own trek pack at the beginning i really wanted to buy this uh trek pack because it was you know it, it made more space for my case and everything so i search on bnh and see how much it costs and oh my god yeah no i wasn't gonna pay for some dividers more than a hundred dollars i'm sorry so i diy'd it I use corrugated plastic, you know, the ones that you use for your signs and stuff, and stuff like that. I also use EVA foam and some spray adhesive, of course, that we want to use to stick the uh, EVA to the corrugated foam. Of course, we need our cutting tools, some extra stuff like pins to stick them together, and a ruler. Now, we want to make sure we start with the outer rim. In this case, the plastic is not long enough to go all around, so I made two pieces. One from this point to that point, and the other one from this point to the next point. Then I measured it from the bottom to the top. And, of course, you always want to measure it twice because you never know. Now, uh, good practice on how are you going to set up your dividers is laying your equipment in the cases. Start measuring the dividers. Make sure to put your outer rim first so you can measure it from point A to point B. Now we want to cut our foams and our corrugated plastic. We want to make sure you use different tools. In this case, I use a rotary cutter. Uh, it does fabric and stuff and also uh, a blade. Uh, we want to make sure we want to measure our, our sizes. Uh, remember, the height is from this point to this point and the length the other way. And on the corrugated plastic, we want to make sure that our corrugated plastic is always looking up with the squares up. That way, we make sure that we're cutting the right way. Just to make sure, here's the example. Remember, the height squares always up because we want to make sure that we cut always the right way. And so an extra tip, we want to cut the corners for the curves, just, just the slit so it can turn around. And we want to make sure that whatever length width that we're using, we want to cut always the right way. And that's pretty much it. So then we want to use our spray adhesive to put all this together. On a safety note, we want to make sure you want to use this in a well ventilated area and use eye and respiratory protection, guys. So we want to make sure that everything fits in. We, use, we put our cameras and we put our different stuff. And to make sure these divided states all together, this is where we use the bobby pins. Of course, this is DIY. If you want to buy the Trek Pack uh, pins, they I think they sell that separately, of course, for another price tag. If you wish to use those, um, I don't mind. I don't. Have, my clients are not like looking inside my case. For me, it's more about space, and it's much more convenient than foam. You save a lot of space. Just a note: keep the phone that of your case that's in the bottom you do want to use that so just make sure you use that and don't throw it away and there you go guys this is the, your diy trick pack i know i've been a little a wall these past few months a lot of work a lot of different stuff but hopefully i can start making videos again for you guys okay guys so see you guys next time and remember keep on being creative